This manga here could be cursed or worse. I always see this picture come up, but I never see people talk about the full story. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure a couple of people have covered it online, but if you're like me and always see this image come up, but never really got the full detailed version, I got you. This manga here is called PTSD Radio. As far as I can see, as of now, it's on an unofficial hiatus. The author for this manga's name is Masakai Nakayama. Forgive me if I pronounce this name wrong though, I'm not good with pronunciations. All the madness started when Nakayama began in a building where he originally started writing the series. The series was first published in 2010, and it's different from other mangas. This is a series of short manga tales that show horrifying versions of everyday household objects. Going back to the building now, Nakayama and his team was in the building and they discovered a broken shrine was located in the same building as well. Now if you guys know anything about shrines then you know we're off to a very bad start because as you know shrines are a very sacred and holy space. Its main purpose is to serve for any kind of spirit that they're intended for. This is where the weird shit would start happening. Events that would occur that him and his team would notice while there is constant scratching noises on the ceiling, lights flickering on and off, and then appearances of strange shadows. Now this alone is enough to make me go what the fuck and not want to stick around. But the worst doesn't even end here. Eventually members of the team fell mysteriously ill. And yes, even the creator himself started developing a rare illness soon after. This illness for short was called ITP and it's an illness where he described himself as having black gelatinous blood blisters all over his lips, tongue, and gums that wouldn't stop bleeding. Along with that, clotted blood spots also appeared on his body. After describing the symptoms to his doctor, his doctor urged Nakayama to go to the hospital, claiming that his life was in immediate danger. Now, I don't know if this next part is entirely true because I haven't read this manga series, but apparently a similar scenario happens in his own series. Nakayama had a bleeding mouth and there's a scene that shows a character vomiting blood from which demons start to emerge. Now, where you may think the worst is over, it doesn't end right here for Nakayama. It wasn't until 2018 Nakayama experienced another crazy episode, another crazy condition, and apparently something else that happened in his very own manga series. This time, the artist experienced a drastic drop in body temperature. Along with that, he started getting intense swelling around his face. I wouldn't blame him because the thing that he does after is stop publishing any new chapters of PTSD Radio while continuing on other works that he has. At this point, it can't be some kind of coincidence, right? It's got to be some kind of warning or something, all right? I, I don't know. If that was to happen to me, oh, man, I, I would have dropped it just as fast as him. But kudos to him for working on his other series. I'm not sure if his other series are horror series, though. I'm about to find out real quick. Okay, so I'm not finding any other series that he's working on. All I really see is the PTSD radio and then his past work. I'm not really seeing anything new. So if he does have any new work, please let me know because I am curious to check it out. But now the question leads to, should I read PTSD radio? His artwork looks really intriguing and it does look like something that'll creep me the fuck out when I'm reading it at nighttime, especially since I know what was going on to him and the people close to him in real life as they were writing this. So I don't know, man. I I'm low-key curious. I might do it. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, sub, share. I would really appreciate it. And let me know if you guys want to see me and my reaction to this series. I'll post up a review if you guys want it. And with that, I'll see you on the next one.